on Iowa Live. From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou, and boy, we are very excited to say hello to a good friend of ours. You've seen on the program before, Elizabeth Keith-Cedral joining us, representing Living History Farms. That's right. How have you been? Oh, so great. And I got to tell you, there's nasty winter weather on the way, but mm -hmm. we are thinking spring out at Living History Farms. All right, so keep that in mind. You're wondering what is going on at Living History Farms because mm -hmm. people ask about it all the time. Right. Plenty is all set to go. Let's talk about some of the fun things. Right, so just about a month from now, we're going to have our spring break camp. Okay. That's for second through fifth grades. Mm -hmm. The second and third graders, the theme is Garden Sprouts, and it's about learning how our food gets to the table. So we teach these kids food doesn't magically appear at the grocery store, right? Yep. It comes from <laughs> it comes from the land. Um, yeah, there they are. They get to feed the pigs. That is awesome. Experience all that up close. And then for fourth and fifth graders, we have something new this year. It's a steampunk themed camp. Okay, explain what that is. So steampunk is um, looking back at how Victorians, people who lived 150 years ago or so, how they thought life would be in our era. So basically, we're taking kids back to the real past to look at an imagined future and help them learn history that way. They'll be building their own Rube Goldberg machines. Oh, they will. And for yes. those people that don't know what a Rube Goldberg <laughs> machine is, it's one of the more fun projects a kid can get involved with. Oh, it is. With. It's about doing an easy thing in the most complicated possible way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you remember the like the mouse trap game? Exactly. That, that's Perfect the, example. That's a, that's an example yes. of what it is. All the different things that happen yes. and then another one happens. But that's really a great idea. Yeah, it's the first year for it, and I, I can't wait to see it myself. So yeah. that's all starting uh, March 13th. All right. So. Again, goes uh, for you know that, that week so that uh, plan great. that out so uh, make arrangements to do that yes. now uh, after that now we, we just talked about the fact that you know next week starts uh, the Easter celebration they the more than a month-long right. celebration for a lot of people and mm -hmm. we have an Easter celebration over at Living History Farms too we do that'll be Saturday April 8th which is the day before Easter mm -hmm. we'll have egg hunts of course mm -hmm. um, we have horse-drawn wagon rides baby animals crafts stories oh we'll be doing some spring training with our historic baseball team Oh, you will? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, and of course, the Easter Bunny. Yeah, of course, going to have the Easter Bunny. Now, uh, the, the baseball team, will they have their, their nice and lightweight uniforms on? <laughs> you must have been talking to somebody who volunteers on yes. the baseball team. So they are wearing replica uniforms, which are made of wool. Of wool, yes. yeah. <laughs> But in April in Iowa, you might need them to stay warm anyway. On, yeah. yeah, on a Saturday in April, it'll probably be much more comfortable than yeah. in July or August when True. they often play. Yeah, right. and then, but they'll be back during the summer too. Yeah, right? we okay. have we have games throughout the season. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's one thing that people need to remember about Living History Farms. Uh, you have people that come in from out of town uh, throughout the year, but especially during the, the spring and the summertime and the fall even, mm -hmm. Living History Farms is really a great place to go. Yeah, we stay open for general touring from May all the way through October. Okay. Um, as you mentioned, the baseball happens several times throughout the season. And then we have special events going on through the summer too, um, starting with Decoration Day or Memorial Day right. and going all the way through Halloween. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, I also want to talk about something else. Uh, how about having you get to hug your little pinky up when you're talking <laughs> about having tea at Living History Farms. Explain right. what that's all about. So we do offer historic teas at the Flynn Mansion. And the Flynn Mansion um, was built by a real family. It was built in 1870, still standing where it was built. It's a beautiful wow. Italianate style mansion. Um, and the Flynn's were at the time new money in Des Moines society. And so these teas demonstrate how somebody who had made it, they were immigrants who made their money in the railroad business, mm -hmm. how they would demonstrate to Des Moines society that they belonged okay. by throwing a fancy tea. All right, yeah, right. inviting friends over, and okay. Uh, the, yeah, definitely intending to impress. So yeah. those are the weekend of April 15th and 16th. We have morning and afternoon options. Okay. Some people go really fancy with it. They'll come dressed up, oh, even really? white gloves. They get really into the spirit, but that nice. is not required. Okay. Come but if you're so inclined, though, you might <laughs> as well take so advantage inclined. of it and have a little fun right. with it. So tea is served then by staff wearing period costumes, okay. and there is also an opportunity for guests then to explore the mansion, which is a really neat old building. Okay. No, it is great. A lot of things we talked about here. We have the spring break camp uh, that'll be going on. We have the family Easter that's going mm -hmm. on, the teas, the, the Flynn Mansion teas that are going on, but mm -hmm. your website is just packed full of information. Yes. 
events, any any of these events, you can find more information at lhf.org. Uh -huh. And then we will open for general touring in May. And I will also mention that by becoming a member, you can tour free all season long. And here's a little bit of inside information for you. Okay, okay? Uh, membership fees will be going up April first. So get them. So if, it, yeah. if anyone is thinking about it, now is the time. Join now, save money, and then tour free all season long and get discounts on all these other events. Yeah, how about that? And there's also a package too. Uh, we have the Blank Park Zoo coming up here in just a matter <laughs> of moments. Uh, there's a package where you can get a tri membership yeah. and take advantage of all the hot spots in Des Moines. Right, the Science Center, the Blank Park Zoo, and Living History Farms all in one membership. How about that? That is mm -hmm. great. But more information about everything Living History yes. Farms. Uh, where can they go again online? LHF.org. Uh, it's so great to see you. You again. too. Thanks so much, Lou. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here.